Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick um, video about some of my favorite summer foundations. I always say quick, but my videos are never quick because I am a talker. And I know some people have been like, your videos are too long. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I talk a lot. Um, and I have a lot to cover. So I'm going to try to be as succinct as possible when going through these. But I figured I do, I have a lot of foundations. You guys know that I did a foundation video. Um, you can search that on my, um, or I can link it below, my prior foundation collection video. And so I figured I would do kind of one highlighting which ones I like for the summer especially. So let's get started. Um, one of these, this one is one that I've had for quite a long time and I definitely tend to pull it out more in the summer. It's the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. It's very similar to like the Armani Maestro, which I don't like. Um, I did and then it stopped working for me. It's kind of a liquid powder foundation. I have it in the lightest shade, Light Ivory 310. But I really do um, enjoy this. It's very lightweight. It does dry down to that matte finish that I like. And out of all of the similar type, oh, it's like the YSL Fusion Ink, which did not work for me. So out of all those kind of like um, liquid powder type foundations, that has been kind of my favorite that I've always gravitated towards. All right, next is the Zelens Youth Glow Foundation. Now, I would also use this in the winter because it does give like a very glowy look to the skin, not greasy. And I have really oily skin, and I've said this before. This manages to strike that perfect balance between like glowy but not greasy. It's absolutely magnificent. So I still would wear it in the winter because it's nice and hydrating, but I love it for the summer because it looks like skin went on my face. Like it's, because it's a skincare based foundation, it really, this is how I describe it, it, looks like it's like fusing with my skin. Like it's very hard to see the texture of the foundation on my skin, which I love. And I have it in the shade Porcelain. All right, next is a new one for me that I just recently tried, and it is from Glossier, um, and it is their Perfecting Skin Tint. I have the shade, I have the lightest shade, so light. I had originally thought that this was gonna be basically like a moisturizer with like a smidge of a tint. I was like, this is not gonna cover, this is gonna be for like a beach day. Well, I was so wrong because it gives a beautiful natural finish. It has significant coverage, but not significant in the way that like if you're having a breakout or anything like that, or you need intense coverage, this is gonna give it to you. I was just surprised that it covered, like it managed to kind of blur all pores. It didn't like show my pores through it and it covered up redness. I was able to cover up slight, small, you know, imperfections, whether it was a small blemish or a dark spot or something. So I just think this stuff is miraculous. I cannot say enough wonderful things and that will definitely be a summer staple for me. Um, next is one that I was kind of on the fence about whether I'd wear this summer and surprisingly I'm really enjoying it as the weather is getting warmer. I, it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's like their, it's a tinted hydrating gel cream and it's very, very lightweight. It kind of goes on deceptively sheer. Like when I first put it on, it goes, I'm actually wearing it today. It goes on very, very sheer and I am not impressed. And then I give it like 10 or 15, maybe even 30 seconds, and it begins to kind of just smooth out, and all of a sudden it looks a lot more flawless. I don't know. It's happened every single time I do it. It's very, very sheer, and then I kind of let it just be for a few seconds, and it definitely gives like a nice, beautiful finish with some coverage. Uh, it does get a little bit shiny, but nothing that I can't manage with a good mattifying primer or a, like a, a quick, you know, translucent powder touch up throughout the day. So let's look what else I have to, I just brought my whole thing of like foundations out here and I was like, let me just grab it. It'll be like, this is going to be very informal. Obviously you can't tell that I haven't like really prepared. Um, this one as well, I really like because it gives a nice mattifying finish. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. A little more coverage though so if having a more medium coverage foundation bothers you in the summer this may not be for you but I like that it gives um, a very 
kind of velvety matte finish. But you can shear it out, just use less. But I, I do gravitate towards using this um, in the warmer weather because of that velvety matte finish that it has. Um, oh, the Immaculate um, Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying by Hourglass. I do really enjoy this. It does give a nice matte finish to the skin. I find it's a little more coverage. So it's definitely, you know, if I'm going to work or something like that, I'm just out running errands on the weekend. I really maybe don't want that much coverage. Sometimes this can be hit or miss with me though. I do really enjoy it. Sometimes it will kind of act wonky on my skin if my skin's having an off day. It sometimes will like pull on dry patches or whatnot. So it kind of can be temperamental. So I have to kind of be careful with that. Uh, but overall, I really do enjoy it and I do highly recommend it. Um, love this foundation and I have to, have to put it back into my regular rotation drawer. Um, it's the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Liquid, Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I just find this is looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. I have it in the shade 0.5. It looks like skin. It gives a natural finish. I still need to touch up with a little bit of powder, but I like it because it feels so lightweight and um, easy on the skin. Like I can't really feel it on my skin. And so I could use this for weekday makeup or even weekend, you know, just running errands and whatnot. It's that lightweight. And let me see another one that I really like. I know I have some more in here that really work well. Um, this one, the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. Shake it up. Um, from Laura Mercier. This gives a little bit more coverage, um, but I do like it because it gives a nice natural finish. Um, and it does hold up well, I find, um, when it gets a little bit warmer. So I've really been um, enjoying this one as well. And then this one, is one that I discovered um, last year and I was kind of hesitant to put it in my summer foundation video because I do wear it all year round. It's not really just summer specific, but I love the way it looks on my skin and so I had to include it. It's the Shiseido Future Solution LX and it's their skincare based foundation. They have their skincare um, line, I think it's the Future Solution line, I think, I'm drawing a blank right now. But this is a skincare based foundation. There's so much in this. Like I haven't even like touched. Like I've been using it for so long and I barely even like made a dent. Like there's no dent. Like I just use what's ever in the top. That's crazy. The only downside is the color range is like it's like very fair to fair. Maybe like a slight medium tone like it's just it they really need to work on their foundation color spectrum because it is it's such a great foundation but I've obviously the shade range is so limited so many people are excluded and uh, that's not fun but anyway I do really enjoy it if you do can find your shade in it um, I highly recommend trying it it's because, if it's a, because it's a skincare foundation, I find that all skincare foundations have this kind of like second skin property to them where it looks, it, it almost does just disappears right into the skin, which is what I like about them versus traditional foundations. I always um, keep gravitating more towards um, skincare based foundations recently because I like how that they kind of disappear into the skin and they really just you can't see the texture of the makeup on your skin, which I like. And I think that is, let me, oh, this one. This is my last one um, out of all my foundations. Everything else I would pretty much wouldn't, I would maybe grab it on a day where I'm like running out the door or something, but what I just showed are, are primarily like the ones that I'm gonna save for summer and that I'll have in regular rotation. And it is the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. This is, once again, I was not anticipating liking it. I don't know why. I just assumed it was gonna be very, very sheer, even though it said light to medium coverage. Uh, clearly, I don't believe the right, like, I don't believe what companies tell me. Um, and I just wasn't sure I was gonna love this. And then I ended up 
absolutely falling in love with this stuff. It has SPF 30, so sometimes I can get away with just like throwing this on my face if I'm just running about and skipping sunscreen. Um, if I'm gonna be out for long periods of time, obviously I'm still gonna use a separate sunscreen. But this is great just for like running errands. And I have it in the shade Fair Game. And it's very lightweight, it's more a natural finish, not exactly very mattifying, but it works well when I use like a mattifying powder or a mattifying primer on top. So those are pretty much all of my summer foundations that I will have in rotation regularly all summer long. So I hope you guys found some new ones to try and leave me some comments below about what you guys love using for the summer, what foundations you enjoy using. And remember, I'll link everything below. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.